Susan Cabot, set up by the CIA to seduce a king for their own benefit, bore an illegitimate son, and the ending is quite juicy. Stay tuned to the end of the video. This Hollywood starlet born Harriet Pearl Shapiro, also known by her stage name as Susan Cabot, appeared in stage plays, TV shows, and film. Now I bet you're wondering, what king? Well, let's get into it, shall we? During a 1959 visit to the United States, King Hussein of Jordan, oh yes, the father of the current king, King Abdullah II, asked the US CIA to procure him a female companion during his time in Los Angeles. They obliged because, you know, as the world goes, I give you something, you give us something. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. And enters in actress Susan Cabot. Now, Ms. Cabot was reluctant to go at first, and I do want to put into context, at the time of their meeting, King Hussein was 24 years old and Susan was 32. Also at the time of their meeting, King Hussein was already divorced from his first wife, former Queen Dina, then now known as Princess Dina. Three days after meeting in LA, King Hussein reaches out to the CIA, and I do want to preference in saying that this story is coming from now declassified government memos. He asked them to set up a meeting between him and Susan while he is in New York. Obviously, they oblige. They rent a house in Long Beach, Long Island. They provide her a hotel in Manhattan under an assumed name. And boom. Now, here's a big problem with this. Susan is Jewish. Hussein is Muslim. That's a no-no. Especially back in those days. They carry on what is to be a seven year romance. And in 1964, Susan bears a son named Timothy. A lawyer by the name of Chester Leo Smith goes on to state, and I quote, for as long as I can discover, Cabot received a regular sum of $1,500 a month from the keeper of the King's purse, Amon Jordan. For better or worse, it looks like child support, end quote. Here is Timothy, said child. Now this is where it gets really bad. In 1986, Susan was found unalived in her bedroom in her apartment in Encino, California, age 59. And um, her son, Timothy, first told the police that it was a tall Latino burglar dressed like a Japanese ninja. And they had broken into the home. Obviously that wasn't the case. Timothy, mm -mm. Susan with a weightlifting bar to he later pled not guilty reason of insanity. Oh my goodness. He spent two years waiting on trial and then three years on probation, convicted of involuntary manslaughter. He died in 2003 of heart failure. Now wasn't this juicy? Comment your thoughts below.